watching Hello Nigeria. You are watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. And you're welcome back to Hello Nigeria. This particular part of the conversation interests me because we're looking at business entrepreneurship. We know how important business and entrepreneurship, most especially with regards to the SMEs, is for our country and our economy, Nigeria. Today we're joined by the co-founders of Mente de Moda. On my immediate right, I have Rewan Bauer. Um, Rewan Bauer Buari is a co-founder of uh, Mente de Moda, and he currently serves as a brand manager at Filmhouse Cinemas. Good to have you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And on my extreme right, I have Adebola Peter. He's also the co-founder of Mente de Moda, as well as the creative director of VM Modern Designs. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So I, I will start by you know looking at partnership. I was curious, you know, when we started the conversation, I remember asking if both of you yeah. were related. And in business, we can't underplay the importance of partnerships. Mm -hmm. How did you both decide to be partners to start a business together? <laughs> Do you want to go? <laughs> well, I think um, it's really all about having um, a common goal, a common dream. Um, we had met each other in university. We both schooled in Nigeria. And... Um, from a friendship, we were able to realize that um, we had a passion for business. And the certain type of business that we liked, we, certain to, we, we just happened to have the same goal for that business. Interesting. Yeah. Now, you've worked together. You started Mentor Moda in 2011, right? Mm, yes. yes. Between then and now, he's talked about what drove you both to work together. But mm -hmm. there definitely has been challenges working together as partners so what would you say are some of the challenges that you've experienced as partners um challenges in terms of business yes business personal relationship because sometimes you find that i'm sure that emotions will clash you want to do something your way he wants to do something his way i think we've been able to manage that in terms of mutual respect and um he has his area of specialization i do so as much as possible there's little or no interference in what so everybody knows what you're supposed to handle, and I mean, it floats on its own. So there's mutual respect, um, mutual understanding, and a shared goal. We've been able to keep this going. All right. Now, in deciding to start a business, there's several mm. people who tell you that you can't be a billionaire mm. except you're an entrepreneur. You can't be a billionaire under mm. a nine to five. Well, but then there are other people that think, I want to be a billionaire, but this business thing is not really for me. So is entrepreneurship really for everybody? Can it be learned? Um, I would say yes. Um, entrepreneurship can be learned, but you need to be able to dedicate time and you have to be very, 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 very patient. Um, the, the tricky thing about entrepre entrepreneurs is that a lot of entrepreneurs don't earn as much as people think they do, but they are running businesses that earn a lot, that, that, that's doing like a heavy turnover. Now, entrepreneurs need to be able to learn to endure like for a long time you know, without being exactly compensated the way everybody would expect that you are, you are being compensated. It, will take, it might take quite a while. So, yes, it will test your patience. It will test your will. And um, if you're able to learn that patience, then, yes, you can be an entrepreneur. If you're, if you're able to learn the ability to actually even also tell people apart, right, this person is this type of person. Because one of the uh, most important responsibilities as an entrepreneur is managing people. So you need to know how to manage different types of people. Managing their emotions exactly. as well. Yeah. Let's talk about the times that have you ever felt like you wanted to quit? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but um, let me just buttress what I said. I think um, entrepreneurship is a mindset. Um, not everyone is naturally um, an entrepreneur. It's something you can learn. It's something everyone should venture into. I think um, with the mindset of I'm going into this for this purpose, there will be obstacles, there will be um, challenges given, um, but um, with the mindset of an entrepreneur, you know that these things are bound to happen and regardless of whatever is thrown at you, you stay on course regardless. So I think um, it's basically a mindset. Okay, now let's look at the work that you do with Mentor the Moon. I know you mm -hmm. do fairs mm -hmm. every once in a while. Mm. Let's talk about bringing several SMEs together. Mm. What would you say has been 
the most challenging parts of doing the fair? I'll start with you, Rowan. Oh, uh, wow. I would say, um, wow. One, a big challenge for us right now is having enough space for our vendors. Like, sometimes we get so many bookings. That's a big challenge now. And I would also say um, integrating a payment system at the exhibition in itself that is uniform and can be um, controlled by both the vendors and the buyers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's also look at, you have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with SMEs. Mm -hmm. What would you say from your perspective would mm -hmm. be some of the the challenges that, that they experience? Now, he's talked about the challenge you experience as an um, organization mm -hmm. putting together this fair. But the SMEs themselves, because you have one-on-one -on -one relationships with them, what would mm -hmm. you say are some of their biggest challenges? Okay, I think um, for us, um, we had identified some of these things, which was part of the reasons why Mentally Mother was established. Um, for startup out there, out there with a creative idea, um, say for example, you want to go into fashion. Um, of course, in business, regardless of whatever type of um, business you decide to venture into, the same thing, certain elements that comes into play. Um, so I'll say funding, first of all. Um, you find out that a lot of startup businesses don't have adequate funding to push their brand as much as they would like, to position their businesses as much as they would like. Um, and uh, like I rightly said, it was part of the reasons why we created Mentor the Mother for that new business out there that doesn't have the adequate funding to get a physical store, for example, or to do like um, proper branding, marketing. Um, Mentor the Mother is for you because you get to test your market, get direct feedback from customers, brand awareness. Um, so if you don't have a physical store, mental model can be, it could be part of your expense or part of your business structure for a startup to say, okay, I'm going to try out a fair like this um, for me to get feedback, for me to make sales, get new customers, for me to position my business out there. Do you understand? So I would say, yeah, funding for the most part. Let's speak about funding. <clears throat> How accessible is funding for um, SMEs to, in Nigeria, how mm. accessible is funding for them? I would say not very accessible, partly because the awareness um, is not that heavy for financial packages, even if there are. We know there are financial packages that benefit SMEs in almost every bank, but like how much push is being, being given to that, you know? Um, it's not that way. Um, and because of that, a lot of SMEs tend to do things on their own or take funding from family and friends and things like that, which is not properly structured. Some SMEs tend to have a, um, a problem with their cash flow because of something like that. So I would say not so available. There are financial packages out there, I know, for SMEs, but you, know, you don't see a lot of push for that. Okay. But I think um, over time um, is something that has great potential, like what um, Lagos State Employment Trust Fund is trying to do, even with the Bank of Industry. Um, they're doing a great job helping startups to push and, you know, providing this um, funding. Um, but, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a process. It's, it's, it's new. Um, so with time, I guess we'll, we'll get there. Okay, now let's talk about collaborations. Okay. How important are collaborations for, uh, for brands? Because now we're starting to see, quick case would be in the beauty industry. We see yeah. a lot of photographers collaborating mm -hmm. with makeup artists yeah. to get shoots. Yeah. How important should collab are collaborations and how do you determine who you want to collaborate with? Um, very important, definitely, uh, because you save a lot of uh, cost um, and there's a lot of mileage that each of you have already covered that you mm -hmm. can bring together and uh, bring to the table. Um, some of our vendors sometimes at the exhibitions, you see them collaborating as well to create one brand whereby um, they are bringing together their resources. One of them might have a warehouse where they are sewing the clothes. One of them already have branding figured out already, but doesn't have a physical yeah. place mm -hmm. to you know, manufacture. Uh, I think that's great. And more collaborations should be encouraged. That's the way we will be able to grow faster. Uh, I would say, to a certain extent, our module as well is based on collaboration. Mm -hmm. You know, we started a business uh, in 2011. 
um, but we really kicked off in 2013. So we really start to say we, we kicked off in 2013. And uh, we're able, from 2011 to 2013, uh, we're able to identify our, our individual strengths. And that's what we now brought to the table. And we played on for us to be able to set up the uh, So we the must encourage more collaboration. Definitely. So now let's talk about, now that I have decided I want to collaborate, how yeah. do I determine the best person to collaborate with me? And how do I get that conversation started? Well, I think um, that's um, pertinent to um, your line of business. Like you rightly said, say in the say wedding industry, for example, let me say you're, you have a drink business, you do cocktails. Um, by yourself, by I mean, looking at your own um, contacts, network, you might not have that much access to all the customers that you need. Um, so in that regard... Um, so defining a relationship with an event, um, event planner, for example, can get you more jobs, can get you, you know, um, can, can position you right in the wedding industry, therein getting you more referrals, more jobs, more sales. You know, so you need to be strategic, but it's also, um, it's also peculiar to um, the industry that you're in. Internet, social media, how would you say that it's helping businesses, SMEs today, how powerful is the internet and how can it be maximized? Well, <laughs> the internet is, 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 is bridged the gap. Um, I feel like it's primarily helped um, new businesses because in terms of starting up an organization, hiring a lot of people, it gives you easy access to potential customers. Like, um, we have inquiries from Kotonou, from Ghana, from South Africa. Um, even if we have never actually done a fair there, but based on the internet, we've been able to reach out to people that um, are not exactly in close proximity with your yeah. um, place of business. You know, unlike, unlike before where uh, if you have products, you have to put this in a print catalog and you have to pay for that. You, you know, remember some brands from back in the day, mm -hmm. they will put all their products in the catalog, they'll print it, they'll have a thousand copies. And they'll put flyers and stuff. Yeah. You know, yes. I mean, instead of doing that, now you can just be on Instagram. Your Instagram is your catalog. You're reaching out to so many people. You can have sponsored posts and things like that. Speaking about sponsored posts, I'd like mm -hmm. us to talk, talk, um, touch on how we can maximize it. Now, yeah, a lot okay. of people are intimidated by the algorithm of Instagram yeah. mm. and the drama that comes with it. You hear people into business telling you, oh, I'm not getting enough followers. Mm. Are followers mm. a determinant of sales? How best can they make good use of their Instagram or their Facebook to achieve maximum um, output? Um, I don't think... Um, I mean, it does go a long way, but I don't necessarily think um, your followership um, directly nice. translate to sales. I'll say that because, I mean, first hand experience, I think um, for every entrepreneur out there, first things first is consistency. People are watching. They might not necessarily click the like, they might not necessarily reach out, but people are watching. They're, 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 your work ethics, your communication skills, the consistency, even in the projects that you're getting. So um, it doesn't necessarily translate, but then you should also be informed. There's a lot of digital marketers out there, a lot of people um, teaching you different tips that you would even, you would be surprised how much you can learn, how much of an industry that is even um, um, bringing out. You'd be surprised, loads of tips, loads of um, ways of analogies, you know. So yeah. um, in as much as it's good to um, get more and, knowledge. And also to even touch on exactly how a lot of people are, are being... Um, intimidated maybe by the algorithm of Instagram. I think that, like he said, there's a lot of seminars that can enlighten you. And yeah. when you are enlightened about things like this, don't be afraid to like just take the leap and start trying these things that you've been learning. Mm -hmm. Some people are jotting down for. They've yeah. been jotting down. They've been jotting down a lot of notes. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for you to take these notes and go out there and, you know, put them into practice. Mm -hmm. You know, so you learn how to... Um, um, go around the Instagram algorithm and you set your sponsored post, for instance, you know, if, if that's what we're using as an example, you set your sponsored post to reach a certain um, um, demographic, demographic yeah. right? Um, an age group that is controlled, um, an environment that is controlled. Maybe you want mm -hmm. to reach Lagos, mm -hmm. 19 to 34, male, 
Maybe because so you're you selling know. barbers, um, 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 maybe you're selling a clipper or something that you think, um, or maybe you want to target men and women. A woman could buy for her husband or her boyfriend, you know, something like that. And then you said it and you let it go. So like I said, a lot of people go for these seminars, but it's now time for you to implement. implement. At the end of the day, we can't, you know, we can't forget the fact that the internet is a fantastic thing. It is. Almost everything that you need is, is on the internet. It is. Yeah. Let's talk about, you know, as we wrap up this conversation, mm -hmm. some of the biggest lessons that you've learned in the course of entrepreneurship, <laughs> some of the biggest regrets. <laughs> now, there are some people that even in, our, in all our career paths, you're starting to think, if I had known what I know now, I wouldn't yeah. have done this, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have done that, mm -hmm. so I should have done this differently. Yeah. So I'll start with you. What are some of your biggest lessons in starting out as an entrepreneur, you know, this you dish out to someone who's probably trying to venture into yeah. entrepreneurship for the first time. Yeah, I would say note everything down. That's very important. Don't um, take anything for granted. And don't be afraid to fail. Because every time you fail, you learn something new. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't, don't try to be perfect, right? And um, another lesson I would say is spend more time planning like I said, it's good to take a lot of notes. It's time that you know when it's time to implement, but it is good to take a lot of notes. Spend more time planning before you execute. I heard somewhere yeah. that um, failure is feedback. Yes. So this just reiterates yes. that. Failure is Failure feedback. is not final. Yes. It is feedback. It's something yes. that you can learn yes. from and re-implement. Yes. Yes. Let's talk to you, uh, Debola. Um, well, first things first. Um, don't be afraid to fail. Let me reiterate on that. Um, I realized that um, I could be a perfectionist, so I want to make sure that I get everything right before um, I get to work. But then over time, I've had to um, learn and see that sometimes you just um, jump and you will learn. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> and you will learn. Experience is the best teacher. Like I said earlier, it's a mindset. So if you have the end goal at the back of your mind, regardless of whatever obstacles, you know that, yeah, I mean, I planned, I, I planned for this or I thought about this. This is one of those things. This is one of those days. Because those times will come. It, maybe not, not as much as you even envisioned. Yeah. They'll come, but just keep the end goal at the back of your mind. Interesting. Yeah. I have had such a fantastic conversation. Thank you for joining us. Thank Before you so we wrap much. up, a little birdie told me that, you know, you had a musical career before. What happened? I just decided to do something else. Are you ever going to go back to music? Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe. I'm, um, uh, I'm multifaceted, you could say. So at what point should an entrepreneur think, you know, this is time for me to dump this? We saw reports a while ago of how mm. they had said Wadja was going to quit music. She had yeah. said she was going to quit music. Yeah. And there were different factors or different mm -hmm. facets of, yeah. the, of our population. Some people mm. in support of her saying, you know what, if it's not working, it's fine to jump ship. Some mm. others are saying, ah, no, you must die there. Or <laughs> we are rooting for you and everything. Mm. Yeah. So at what point should an entrepreneur think, you know, I've done this, I've tried my best, and I'm out? I think that's a good question, actually. Well, yeah, it is. Um, I think yeah. it's personal. So it depends on um, what goals you've set for yourself. Yes. Um, Wadja, for example, she knows what this means or meant to her. So she'll be in the best position to say, I mean, you can go 10 years and not even get, make headway for what you had planned. But it's personal. If you know that, okay, look, this is my, now let me just put this in. I always tell people it's more about purpose and not money. Understandable, you have needs and all that, but um, the purpose is greater. So if you, if you chase purpose, Money and all these other things are like um, fringe benefits. It comes with it. So it's personal. If I know, like, look, this is what I'm called to do. This is what I'm, I'm going to die doing. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Well, pursue uh, your purpose. Yes, and the process yes. of pursuing purpose, every other thing will yes, come. Will come. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, I, went, I hosted a conference over the weekend, and I asked the lady, because the session was how, um, break it, unlocking the money code. Mm. And I asked on phone, like, so how do you make money really mm. she said you make money by not chasing money yeah, yeah. exactly so in the process of chasing your purpose <laughs> every other thing comes mm -hmm. it's a delight to have you thank you for joining thank us. you so much for people who want to keep up with the amazing work you're doing individually with mentor and moda how can you follow you um well on instagram at mentor moda that's m-e-n-t-e-d-e-m-o-d-a um we're on twitter as well um we have a website mentor um 
Yes. So every information you can get is on Twitter, Instagram, yes. and our website, Mentor the Moda. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.